Alright everyone, what is going on? W Drums here. We're back doing another path guide review. This time we are doing the other path for the final air trap master. That being Thunderbolt. A storm is coming. Alrighty. So let's get right to it. He's level four is right now. So stats wise, he's very well balanced. I gave him a bit more critical hit with the Dark Helm which is from the uh, Sunscraper Spire level, if I'm correct. It was near like a dark gate, I think? Dark or light? I can't remember. It was in the building, though. And that's where you get it, if I'm correct. And, um, yeah, it balanced him out really nicely. He's got a great amount of uh, stats at only level 4. It's terrific. And um, let's the see what else we got limit. here. Uh, the outfit, like I said, I use that helmet. And then the trinket, I'm using the pirate pinwheel because I think it goes very well with the whole air concept. I did it with blades too, it's just fun. So we got powers. Traptanium Thunder Sword. Press Y to swing the Traptanium Thunder Sword. Storm Clouds. Press A to summon a cloud that rains pain down on enemies. Lightning Clouds. Charge up Storm Clouds with the Thunder Sword, causing them to shoot lightning. Hurricane Pain. Press X to summon a Twister. More Thunder. Traptanium Thunderstorm does extra... I'm sorry, does more damage. Hurricane Pain remains. Twister lasts longer, does more damage, and sucks in clouds. And I did the bottom path this time, which is an Eye of the Storm path. So we got Stormier and Stormier. All lightning attacks have an extra range and do increased damage. Charge it up. Charge up storm clouds with the thunder sword with extra power. Exploding clouds. Storm clouds can be overcharged with lightning and explode for maximum damage. And the soul gem, which I still am not understanding how to use, even after the last path guide. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. Lightning rain. Hold Y and press A to call in a lightning storm. So guys, help me in the comments below if I did it right or not through this because it's really starting to tick me off. It does not make sense. I've tried it over and over before I even filmed and I couldn't get it. I don't know if that small little purple lightning that comes out is the soul gem and it's very minuscule. I don't know. I really don't. It's just really confusing, dude. A storm is coming. Lob Goblin. Power on! Alrighty, here we go. Let's see what we got here. So first, let's summon the Twister. Handy all those pesky enemies. To handy, to handle. <laughs> So now what's cool about this is notice all the electrical bolts coming out of it now, kind of like what Zeus would do, but it's coming out of a sword. So it's really nifty. Always summon that twister. So here's my clouds. You can only summon three at once. And you attack them to get more powerful. Watch again closely. Blade's pretty ridiculous. Does some serious damage. Since I picked this up, it's going to double whatever I just uh, did damage-wise. So sorry about that unrealistic uh, stats right now. Oh yeah. 
Takes him down like a champ, though, man. He's only level 5, remember. He's just a great long-range fighter, man. Oh. Always like to summon that twister, kind of like bleeds. You always want to summon the cyclone. It's the same kind of premise. Just gets rid of those pesky small enemies. Nice. Superstore. Thirty level six, my man. That's ridiculous how fast he took them all out. Like nothing. So I think this clearly is the best path. It's not as glamorous looking, but it definitely uh, holds its own. And it's been stated from uh, the Dark Spyro forums that this is the best path. And I agree. Wholeheartedly. So thanks for watching everyone. That was Thunderbolt on his Eye of the Storm path guide. Uh, hope you all enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what I'm doing wrong with the Soul Gym. I don't get it, man. It doesn't make sense. So, yeah, have a good one. And as always, God bless. Peace!